Hi, boys and girls. This will be our first virtual lesson. So let's read the objective, everybody with me, because you read better than me. Let's do it. One, two, three. I can determine the solution to problems involving addition and subtraction of nine intervals in minutes using pictorial models. So first, let's go over this and review the a measuring of time with an analog clock. By the way, um, at the end of this video, I will teach you how to make your own clock, um, like this one, and I will teach you also a game of human clocks that we, you will enjoy, and you will have extra practice, extra learning, and extra fun. But stay with me. Now, let's review the measurement of time with an analog clock. First, you see we have two hands, right? One shorter hand and one bigger. Now, the small one is going to tell you the hour, right? And these numbers from 1 to 12 will tell you what time is it. If it's, it is 8, if it is 9, if it is 10, and, and all the way, right? Now, the, the larger one is the one that will tell you the minutes. So, starting here, is zero and then if you it's 10 o'clock right no no more minutes just 10 o'clock now if you keep moving it each of the numbers will hold five minutes so if we do it we can count we can skip count by five it will be 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 and 60 minutes. Now, remember here, when we when we'll see the time in here, we will put zero minutes, right? But we know an hour is how many minutes? 60 minutes. And that's important because you will use that to solve the problems, your math problems. Also, remember that half hour, half hour is how many minutes? Well, you start here, right? Half, halfway is right here. So it's gonna be 30 minutes. And that's the way you um, read the analog clock. Now I will let you, um, I, will, I will post a video of this if you need to review um, further. But most of you know this, this is just a review. And let's go and start um, looking at the problems. Okay, for today's class, we will solve this problem together. Um, it says, let's read it. Let's read it carefully and many times. The first time we read it and try to understand it. Then we um, try to imagine what happened in our mind. One, two, three. Luna danced, rode her bike, and ran in a race. That's the first information. Then. She spent 19, 90 minutes dancing. She spent 21 minutes riding her bike. And she spent 30 minutes running. Now, the question. What was the total amount of time Luna spent dancing, riding her bike, and running this race? Try to imagine first what is happening. I'll, I'll help you, I'll, I will help you with that. Guess, I have Luna here, so I, I will show you a small clip of her doing everything. <laughs> Luna danced, rode her bike, and ran in a race. She spent 19 minutes dancing. She spent 21 minutes riding her bike. She spent 30 minutes running. Now, what was the total amount of time Luna spent dancing, riding her bike, and running in this race? Let's think about it. Right, I hope you see like more visually what, it, what this is telling us now. 
when we solve this kind of problems, we're looking for three things. In this specific problem, there are just one of this that you will look for. But in many of the problems we solve in class and you will solve um, today in your Etsy ticket, you have to be looking at this three um, times. The first one is the start time. The start times, the start time is when the person or whatever it is began, start doing something. So I'm gonna put just a little dot here. So that's the start time. Now the elapsed time is the time that takes him or her to do the stuff. Usually it is written in numbers and words. 90 minutes, two hours, is the time that took you to um, do something, right? The time in, in the middle. And then at the end is the end time. That means the time that you finish, right? And this is going to help you solve the problems. This one is easier, just have one part, but have many um, numbers for just one part. Um, but can you guess which, um, which um, type of time is in here in this problem? It is this, elapsed time. Now, we have three elapsed times here, right? We have three jumps in this number line. We have first 19 minutes, then we have 21 minutes, and we have then 30 minutes. Now, let's see what we need to do. So we got to the conclusion that the elapsed time are 19, 21, and 30. Right? Because all those activities took her this time in the race. Now, let's read the question. The question is always going to tell is always going to tell us what we need to do to find the answer. So the question says, what was the total amount of time Luna spent dancing, riding her bike, and running? the total amount of time. So what do we need to do? Obviously, we need to add. So I'm gonna put here a addition symbol. And let's start adding. So let's start here. 19 plus 21, nine plus one equals 10. So we put the zero, carry one, now two plus one, Three plus one, four. I miss you answering, right? Okay. And then we were going to add um, 40. Let me put it in here. Two, 30, right? We did this, we did this. Now we are going to do the last one. Plus 30. It's going to be zero and this is going to be seven. Now we have seven. 70 what? 70 minutes but let's let's look at the answers to see what we need to do next. now we already did our math we added the, the all the activities the minutes of all the activities and then we reached the number 70 minutes now if we look at the answers at the, at the possible answer there's none of them just counting minutes. Well, just one. But if we if we can eliminate the questions, I'm sorry, the answers that are not possible answers, let's think let's think um, which ones can we eliminate. A says one hour twenty minutes. B forty minutes. C one hour ten minutes. D one hour. So we already know it's not B, right? Because we know it's 70 minutes, not 40, but 40 is just the first step. That's why it is here. So we can cross out. <laughs> okay, now, now, 
what do we need to do to find how can we convert this into this? How many minutes um, have a an hour? How many? It has 60, right? So, let's do this. If our answer is 70, and we know and we know 60 minutes is an hour. Let's let's take one hour from here to see how many minutes left do we have. So just subtract 60 from 70. Zero minus zero is zero. And seven minus minus six is one. So we will have here one hour. And how many minutes? 10 minutes. So the answer is C. Woo! I hope, I hope you understood this. Um, well, if not, reach out to me, send me a message, and I will leave you a practice of a human club that I know you will enjoy playing with your um, brothers, sisters, and friends. Hope you are well and see you soon. Bye.